Here we are. Pathfinder. Wrath of the Righteous. Jump straight to character creation. We're going to go in. We've had a quick look around and see what there is. Of all the lovely portraits, we naturally picked the Edgelord. And we're trying to currently figure out what the best choice the closest to Doom guy we can get. It's not going to be in Bard, is it? Um, it's go There's something called a Blood Rager, and there's something here that eats spells and cannibalizes its own spells to heal. There's also one that has big boy armor. We do like big boy armor. lot of damage reduction, look at that. You get mighty blood rage eventually. Uh, is it just a lot of damage reduction, armor training, armor training, damage reduction, armor training, tireless blood rage. It's just a lot of damage reduction on all of them, isn't it? I oh, don't know, this is summoning rager. Is it for imagine summoning allies from nature? Primalist. It's a primalist here. Mm. It seems quite meh. They do put this difficulty at higher than normal. If I was to go steel blood. If I use the recommended build. Enabling the premium build will activate the auto level up. Here. No! No, no, no. We want to fuck everything up and annoy people. Oh, God. I mean, I really am stuck between these two. Spell Eater, Steel Blood. Oh. Weapon and Arm Proficiency, Indomitable Stance. Spell Eater gets... So I can't be fast, obviously. That would be stupid. And this guy is fast as fuck. We... I don't need to be first. I just need to be big. Big man. Yeah. That's it. Oh wow. Okay, these are these are different. Do they have their own statistics this time? Yeah, I felt like last time they didn't. So you couldn't be a tiefling last time. But the things with a tiefling, they don't tend to get they're not big. But I could be big. Fuck me. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Who's this big boy? They remain a mystery to the world. Oh, it might be you. Let's have a look through. We're Doom. We are playing Doom. See, the skills they come with is correct, isn't it? Ferocity and stuff like that. Like, too angry to die, basically. Oh, we're going to end up going that, aren't we? Uh, what do you get as your heritage? Slow movement. So you're even slower. No, no, no. I'm already slow. Okay. Resist level. Undead resistance. And a kitsu. No, it's going to be too angry to die, isn't it? It's just going to be. That's two to my vehicle. Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh my god. What is all this? Okay. Basic? Oh, do I get to pick these? Okay, fine. <laughs> just called me just basic. Okay. Um... Human race half all loses the ferocity and but gains no I want ferocity. Try it loses orc ferocity and keen ses No, I want ferocity. That's the whole point. Ugh. Do I need to select all these then? Or can I select these now? Oh yeah. Okay. Right. Right, okay. So this is now our background, is it? Background. Ooh. Ooh. OK. 
Okay. Oh god. He unknown, doesn't grind any bonuses. Why would you pick that? Gladiator? I mean Doom was like a, a gladiator as such. He was sent into battle. It was more like a burst one, wasn't it? Where's the one with the big axe? <laughs> Uh, what's the regional ones? What have they got? Uh, Buckler. No. Jesus Christ. Corsair. Scimitars. Scythe. No. There it is. Warrior of Linorm Kings. Adds mobility to the list of her class skills. She also becomes proficient with hand axes, battle axes, and grey axes. Additional. Warrior of the Limb Kings gains 5 cold resistance to the character who already has a task. I kind of like the idea of running around with a trident. <laughs> Which is an awful idea. I should have a shield. But we'll have that. Okay. So, was it that? No. <laughs> it's, we need to be big. It's telling me I need charisma. Because that seems to be to do with the Blood Ranger skill. So... Um, fuck that. Uh, twelve and twelve. Sixteen for a plus three. Sixteen for a plus three. I don't think we can. We can get another to a fourteen. What's going to be better? AC. Yeah. So big boy, big health. This. Yeah. Oh fuck. Okay. Um why do we have so much in persuasion? Maybe it's intimidation. That would that would make perfect sense actually, yeah. Let's get massive in that. Um yeah, athletic as hell and I like being perceptive though. Yeah, I like perceptive because his keen senses are quite racially. Is there any other racial ones I would have had? No, so that's, that's literally it. And that's the one that goes with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes perfect sense. Ooh! Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Right. Jesus Christ. Uh, I mean, it recommends weapon focus. But I already have that, don't I? With a trident now. You get a plus one bonus attack with ranged weapons, if it are not going to be ranged. Uh, we'll do weapon focus then. But, like. Oh, wow, I really can't use a lot of this stuff. Ray. Just Ray. Some dude named Ray. Um, I mean, it has to be a, a great axe, surely. Yeah. Just, just in case. Just in case, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, shit. A bloodline. Well, what do they do? Oh my days. Okay. Infernal. That has to be it, right? The pit lives in your... 
Oh, Hellfire Strike. I feel like I'm against Doomguy at this point now. I feel like I'm the opposite, actually. I feel like I'm what he wants to kill. But, Hellfire Strike. The first level is a swift action up to three times a day. You can infuse your attacks with Hellfire. Why would you not? Yeah. Boom. Deity selection. Gorum. Gorum's the bad dude. Favoured weapon's a great sword. Favoured weapon is Trident. Deity of nature. Uh, we need something. That's death, isn't it? Lady Despair and Domains is death. Favoured one's Scythe. Warhammer. Okay. Just picking these by the way. Great tanks. Rovogook. Rovogook? Imprisoned, age creation, god of organism, world breaker, destroy creation of the gods believed to be imprisoned in a state of torpor. I mean, that's perfect, isn't it? That's, that's, that's that. That's that. I can pick between all of these. <laughs> um, is, is, is Doom Guy chaotic? Do we think he's chaotic? Or does he just not care? Is he just neutral? I feel like he's pretty chaotic, to be honest. If you have a, a shotgun with a um, grappling hook on it, it's out on fire. What is this? Oh, right. Actual character creation. No, big, big boy. Angry. How angry can we get? How scarred can we be? That would do. What's the closest to the Doom armor? It's like bright green? That green, isn't it? Is there no hair option? Yeah, there it is. Beard. I don't think that has a beard. Definitely would have war paint, wouldn't he? <laughs> is there a red? No, his is like purple on his face mask, isn't it? So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go for it. Um, is this the colour of his stuff now? Yeah, cool. Um, military green. Secondary colour. I guess purple. What's this going to look like? What? I'm not. Great. I'm not disappointed with that. Yeah, we'll go with that. I'll take care of it. Madman. Let's shake a leg. <laughs> I shall not falter. You're done for. I need to concentrate. And off we go. Don't know. Don't care. We will be victorious. I am superior. That's the one. Name. Doom guy. Doom guy. No, no, no. Doom guy. Doom guy? Yeah. Never mind. Because I don't know when Doom was made. I lead. You follow. Steel blood. So this is what we've got. Armor class is 12. <sighs> Alright. I guess that's... That's creation done. I mean, can we... We need to... We need to change this. We need to change this to fit better. No, oh, you don't fit at all. You're tiny. But he's an orc. None of you fit. Maybe just not you, but your face fits. So we'll have your face. Result. Spell's not working like that. Oh, it should. Oh, whatever. That's fine. No one cares. Yep. 
Okay. Let's see what's going on. Read the notes she found while exploring dungeons. They might contain valuable clues. I definitely won't. I don't look too good. It's my bright purple face that gives it away. <laughs> hey, somebody! We got a wounded fighter. Can we get a healer over here? Okay. My, my, would you look at this? But why would you drag a wounded fighter into the middle of the festival square? Couldn't he be carted off somewhere else like... Oh, I don't know. An infirmary? Or an accommodating ditch? Darren. Right, you die at some point. Make room, everyone! Step back! Now, what's the matter? What happened to him? Hmm. The wound looks nasty. Who did this to him? Demons, prelate! We found him barely alive outside the walls of Canabris. Oh, that's accurate. Accurate to my backstory. The walls, you say? Enemy doesn't usually stray so close to the city. Must fortify the defenses. And you! Hold fast. Don't die. We'll see you right. We'll get you patched up now. But first, you there, guard. Take his weapons. Bearing arms is not permitted during the festival. Wounded or not, Everyone must abide by the rules. He can get his things back after the festival. I don't have any things. Oh, inherit. Leader of our troops. The sharpened edge of our blades and the unyielding strength of our armor. Iomade, I beseech you. Grant your mercy. Heal his wounds. <laughs> Too angry to die. I won't give up that easily. Here, here. That's the Crusader spirit. My powers are not enough here. Someone call for Terendalev. You there. Yes, you. Stop dithering and gawping and make yourself useful. Go and get Terendalev. Prelate, surely there is somebody else here better suited to running errands. I'll get her. Terendalev. Has anyone seen Terendalev? There's a despite difference between this look and this look. Be quick about it before it's too late. <laughs> now, who are you? I don't remember seeing you before, and I have an excellent memory for faces. I know this isn't gonna like. Usually, this would be terrifying if someone said this to you in the actual Doom world. But this is the best choice I have is I'm Doom guy. That's the first I've heard of that name. What? Who are you then? What's your business in the city? My dear prelate, please, for the sake of the festivities, stop interrogating this poor man. He has been through enough already. Go on, I'll take care of him. <clears throat> All right, as you wish. You are our protector, and a dragon at that. So I shall defer to your wisdom, but be on your guard. I've been informed he was wounded near Canabras. That means the demons are prowling just outside the walls. And the city is crawling with their spies. Others may be able to relax on this holiday, but not you or I. Not the defenders of this city. Mushroom discontentedly, the old man walks off. <laughs> Pry loose the grudging grip of pain. Cast off the veil of suffering flesh. Let light and life go forth in triumph to repel the skulking shade of death. There. There. Okay. Can I go? I I want to. Are you really a dragon? You don't believe me. Perhaps I should retake my true form and engulf this square with my ice breath to win your trust. <laughs> Pay no mind to my current guise. I appear this way when I walk among the people. I would hamper the festivities if I tried to attend in my true form. 
No, I've got no further questions about that, have I? Okay. Uh, who are you? My name is Terendalev. I am the protector of the city. Okay. I do not know yet, and that troubles me. I am not entirely sure what the demons did to you. This wound is no ordinary injury, and it was inflicted by no ordinary weapon. I have rid you of your pain and restored your strength, but only time will allow you to heal fully. Can I... can I go? Certainly, but be careful. I have managed to get you back on your feet, but I have not healed you fully. Alas, sooner or later, your pain will return. Great, thank... Thanks. But do not be discouraged. You will recover, I promise you that. Tomorrow, come to the cathedral and say that you are expected by Terendalev, protector of Canabras. We will find a way to help you. But for now, put this out of your mind and enjoy the festival. They are all too rare in this time of war, and merriment is one of the best medicines. Okay, we have a mission. Sample the special festival drink. Okay, so, J, same as before, the previous one. Uh, sample a special password, throw the dart at the target, hit the mannequin. <laughs> okay. Exciting! Shall I read these? I'll read them for now, and people can decide. So, Canabras is a city poised on the border between two worlds. On the one side, the ordinary world inhabited by ordinary people, on the other side, the world world. The demons foothold on Valaria. Heroes from across the world flock to Canabras to aid the Crusader. Crusader? Crusader calls. Protracted war offers little cause for celebration. But today is the anniversary of the city's founding. For today, the city's main square has been cleared of marching troops and given over to performers and carnival games. The townsfolk deserve the chance to forget about the budget. If only for a day. Okay. Let's move already. That is indeed how you move. Alright, good to know. I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Right, where are we going? Where is this sample drink? Where are the darts? There's the darts. Let's go play some darts. Is it hold tab still? Yes, I remember this. So we can just do this to see who has a name and who's worth speaking to. However, we've got some darts to throw. You can interact with various objects such as doors and chests by right clicking on them. Some special objects have an icon above them. This is also how you talk to characters. Hold tab. Oh, I've done it. Ahead of you. Ahead of the game. Smashed this guy's loving it. Well, oh, I smashed that. What do you mean at 100? Turn that shit. <laughs> All right. I am massive. Right. Uh, I want the special drink. Where's the special drink? At? Oh, hang on a second. Can I go up here? Love a drink, me, especially when the city's foot in the bail. What do you say? Another round? Can I take another round? Behold, Crusader gods! Behold, Iomane! You poor imposter! Your city will fall to me! Your followers will feed my hunger! We have a dragon, apparently. Where 
am I not going to back on this? Discari, Lord of Locusts, leave my city! Well, that was fucking a... <laughs> Discari himself. Hardly. One minute we had a dragon, the next, bang, she was gone. What are you gonna do? Fight or flee? If flee is your plan, let me help you out. I've got a scroll here with a good protective spell. Oh, I'd love to fight. I'm, I'm doomed. I have to fight them, right? Have I seen you somewhere before? Yeah, you have. You owe me your life. I'm the one who found you outside the walls and brought you inside to be healed. I see they patched you up. Good thing they did it before the attack, or else you'd have been done for. Who is this? You must have got a good drubbing around the head, brother. Discari's a demon lord, the most fearsome enemy of all crusaders and all living things, come to think of it. Who knows? Everything's on fire, crashing down around our ears. Places crawling with demons. Looks like a whole army attacked the city. We're sitting ducks! Alright, give me a weapon. Sure thing. Here, a cross. take this. Best crossbow I've got. The person who made it said it could pierce the hide of a demon lord even. Light crossbow. Good luck! Try not to get eaten now! It's not really the weapon I was looking for, if I'm honest. A mortal gnat snaps its jaws at the Lord of Locusts. So. Good game, guys. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought it was just going to reset. The silver me. dragon, Terendaleb, the defender of Canabras, fell in battle. Hardly surprising, as she had to fight the demon lord Discari himself. He willed the land to part and swallow all who dared to stand in his way. But the war was still far from over. Is this the Underdark? Far can we see? Yeah, I don't feel like we can see very far. Doomguy. Okay. Doomguy fears nothing. Guy fears a few things. Oh, holy mother of. Oh. Hey, hey, stay with me. You actually got pretty lucky. You fell down into a black hole. But at least you're not on your own. You've got a great companion. Everything's going to be just fine. Tell me something. Can you feel your legs? That's your first question. Not my name. I feel them all right. Oh, you're not speaking. When say no to a little less feeling in them. My ankle's killing me, but my back seems to still be in one piece. My head, too. Ideal. That's all that matters. Now, we're going to... Hey! Fancy meeting you down here. You're the one that Terendalev healed today, right? You aren't injured, are you? Will you help me get her out from under the boulders? Hmm. Hmm. Knowledge. We don't have an. We don't have to rely on Bruce Stone for this. No, we definitely do. Hold on. We're going to get you out from under there. Or I don't know how we're free. Pay up. Let's get stuck under the rubble. <laughs> Damn it. Ah. Um. It's what I would pick. That's what I'm picking. What I would pick as a person. Okay. I would probably just try and brute force it.
Bay, you have made a successful skill check and help her pull her from the lethal hole. If you had failed the skill check, she would have had to act alone, so she would have become fatigued and incurred. Okay. Summoning all your strength, you managed to lift the rocks up enough to free her. Ah, damn it all! I think it's broken. Oh well, I've had worse. I'll just make myself a splint out of something. Thanks for the help. I wouldn't have lasted long on my own stuck under there. I'm a Nevia Tirabade, of the Eagle Watch. I was overseeing security at the Festival Square. I thought maybe spies or demon worshippers might have something nasty planned. What actually happened, though? Now that, I did not see coming. I don't think anyone could have been prepared for that. Well, I'm Sila. Paladin by the grace of Iomade. I crossed the whole continent to come to Mendev and fight demons. And, well, I've been fighting for a while now. I don't even want to think what might be happening up there in the city. Canabres has lost the protection of Terendelev, and of the Wardstone too, looks like. It's a relic without equal. It was placed here personally by Iomade's Herald, with the Goddess's blessing. I really wanted to go see it, to pray before it. But there's no point worrying about a stone when there are people dying in the streets. Wardstone. So there are chain power expansion of Bay, the first and greatest in the chain, was erected in the city of Canabras by the hand of the inheritor himself, the golden-winged angel sent by the goddess Aomade. Yeah, things are looking grim enough, but don't lose heart. Wardstone or no, dragon or no, Canabras will never give in. Simple as. Well, we've introduced ourselves. What about you? Hmm. I mean... We have options here. Abyss, definitely. I'm a scholar, definitely didn't. One person's always a person. I'm in the city seat now. I am led by destiny. I'm a traveler. My name is Doom Guy. Good to meet you. Now, tell us all about yourself. Whoa, girl. Slow down. Exchanging names is enough for now. We don't have time to be swapping life stories. We need to find a way out of here. Uh, now then, I'll hobble my way out of here somehow. The city ain't far, only 30 paces or so. That's if you're going straight up, of course. I'm afraid we're gonna have to go the long way round. To summarize, there are three of us, with five working legs, three pairs of decent hands, two clear heads, and one made of wood. <laughs> That's mine. Underground monsters beware! <laughs> Anevia, you stay behind us. You're in no fit state to fight. If we do come up against anything, the two of us will try to manage on our own first. Well, onward! May the good deities lead us back to the open sky soon. Okay, so we can just select everyone with that. Okay. Oh wow, she's actually limping around. Hang on. Oh, I can't select you though. Damn it. There used to be formations. Yeah, I don't want to stand that far away. I want to lead the line. Me. Containers. <laughs> what this bright yellow glowing thing. Do you have a weapon? You have a weapon. A cold iron great axe. Do you have a trident? No, we don't have a trident. Do you have that? Well, we'll just take it all. Uh, no. Small person. I can hear for me. And I shall have the cloak of snazziness. And in our secondaries, some torches. This is awesome. Oh, you have a torch. What one do you have? Can we upgrade you? 1d8 slashing. Same. 1d8 bludgeoning. Are you better off? No, we'll just stick with what we got. Probably have some sort of efficiency. Uh, no. Terrendal of scale. Restore life to a deceased party member. A raised. Ooh. 
a phoenix down. Torn, stained, blood, dust, and dirt. Okay. Relax, friend. We're, we're not demons or cultists. Don't poke my eye out with that thing, all right? We fell down here during the attack. I'm Sila, that's Anevia, and this is our new friend. We're looking for a way back to the surface. Really? I'm so ever glad to hear it. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Camellia. I was also in the square when... when... I can scarcely believe it. How did all those demons get into the city? I thought, naively it now seems, that the Wardstone protected us from attack. And Terendalev... I can't wrap my head around it. I don't know. He must have been in the square when disaster struck. I tried to revive him, but he was already dead, sadly. He didn't get these wounds from the fall. Be on your guard. Whatever killed him likely hasn't gone far. Hang on. I think I know him. His name's Aravashniel, the egghead from the library. He was a good lad, even if he was kind of stuck up. May his soul rest in peace. Hmm. I mean, party members? Certainly. Survivors should stick together. It's only sensible. Who knows what else could be prowling about in these caves? I can't argue with that. We're fortunate to be alive, albeit underground. Daskari himself has come to Canabras. There's no mistaking that ugly mug. Tyrandalev tried to fight him, but what could she do against a near deity? Even the Wardstone was no help. Our city used to be protected by powerful forces, but now? We've seen how powerless they truly are. Henceforth, we shall have no one but ourselves to rely on, I suppose. Who am I? Just an ordinary citizen who decided to take a stroll through the square on the day of the festival. But that's not what you wish to know, is it? You most likely wish to know whether I'll be a burden should you ask me to join your group. No need to worry about that. I can assure you that I am skilled with a rapier, and I also possess some knowledge of magic. That's right. It would be the height of foolishness to survive a demon attack only to perish under a pile of rubble. Let's see if this poor bloke has anything useful on him. Not to sound like a heartless brigand or nothing, but we kind of need all the supplies we can get right now. Uh. <laughs> What's that? Uh. Okay. Uh, has a bit of cure wounds. Right. Open your heart to me. This is spell. Light. Is it meant to do that? Large person. Here are light wounds. A masterwork dagger. We'll keep that, but I doubt we'll use it. Lighting down such a case, it's hard to see anything. There are too many ways to light. Light spell on a character, or in front of eye, or the ever burning torch. Do What's on your spell? mind? I wonder. Don't feel like we do. Rely on me. <laughs> or we could just charge forward. What's the worst that could happen? A young giant centipede. Do not fear! Do okay. not waver! To pause the game, unpause the game. I'd rather be in turn-based mode myself. Are we in turn-based mode to start with? No, okay, let's let's go into turn-based mode. It's slower, but it's more familiar. Oh, I'm glowing. Oh, I'm blood raging straight away. Okay. I think that would be automatic. So I have two more temporary health, but my, my AC is lower. Right, okay. Um, is this... Until the target... Duration, until the target of the smite is dead. I don't think we need to be smited. The inheritor, guide my blade. Nope, <laughs> definitely not. 
Um, now, do you have a spell that can actually hurt things? Not really. Um, no, we'll just stab it for that open? tutorial game. You missed. Okay. I can use that three times a day. Remember that. But I do have a big axe. Yes. Oh. You missed. And now you die. Take you. Padded armor. Is that better than mine? Definitely not. And one piece of gold. And a bottle of oil. You know what? You never know. Okay. Can we... Oh, we can with the mouse button. That's so much quicker. Okay. It's another scale. Did they really expect someone to die at that point? So they put one there. Okay. Oh, maybe it's for now. Oh, I'm fatigued already from raging once. But I didn't choose to rage. Oh, that's that's not good, is it? Um, I don't have an attack option here. I should be ready. Yeah, I don't have that option. I could use my Hellfire Strike. But no, no, but, um, no. We'll delay that one. Could you smite on you? Do you look particularly? You know what? We'll, we'll just create a line. Yeah. Oh, okay. Don't know what I expected. To be honest. Um, we still got plenty of health. Which way is correct? Left is always correct. In everything, left is always correct. It's a bit of an angle. This so I'm no longer fatigued. Interesting. Can I charge this thing? Yeah! Oh, shit! <laughs> okay. Let's get you up there. What's this debuff? Flat-footed. What does flat-footed mean? Does that mean the uh, movement debuff? Oh, for me again. Well, you failed. Let's hear you cry. <laughs> uh, a flame time. Cooking ingredients. So it should be used to brew potions or scribes. Oh yeah. No, oh, it's just monsters. Save the last one for me. Can I charge it again? That worked last time. Oh, it's still alive! It's still alive! It's not alive anymore. We're good. We're good now. Good. Can we skin it? Oh. Oh, oh that was disappointing. Um. Head on. There's a map, isn't there? That may have been the better way to go. Probably. Land. No, I can't just walk away. It's got to be here somewhere. Lan, did you find it? Who is that? What? Okay. The do gooders here to save our mongrel souls, no doubt. Wait. They might know what's going on up there. I do know what's going on up there. If things are as bad as you say, then we all have to hurry. 
You didn't come from the direction of the shield maze. Damn it. I couldn't care less about what's happening on the surface, but the maze. I realize that you guys have your own troubles, but we need to be in Canabres. People are dying up there. Please, show us the way out. I want to know who you Tieflings are. Tieflings are the descendants of people who sullied themselves by mating with demons. Our ancestors would never sink that low. We are the underground crusaders, the children of the crusade's finest. Sadly, underground crusaders is a bit of a mouthful, so people usually just call us mongrels. <laughs> you just love repeating that, don't you, Lan? Mongrels. That's what the uplanders call us. But we call ourselves Neethers. Neethers. No matter what you call us, it's not gonna stop our horns, hooves, or tails from growing. In Canabras, they're called mongrels. People say that they come up to the surface at night and eat anyone foolish enough to wander alone after midnight. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I thought you guys were just a tale to tell kids at night. <laughs> That's human gratitude for you. Our forefathers suffered the consequences of demonic corruption, all to protect Mendev and Golarion. And for what? So we could become monsters used to frighten children. Every mongrel has their own take on it. Our chief, for example, thinks of us as something like a reserve military force. He thinks we're standing by until the moment we're needed, and when we emerge on the surface and save the day, all the people will see how good we are, and they'll love us for it. Yeah, he leaves that last part out when he talks about it, of course, but it's easy enough to read between the lines. Okay. This is the hall where we remember the glory of our forebears. Sorry about the mess. Uh, it doesn't usually look like this, trust me. Sometimes we even wipe the dust off the exhibits. This is where the relics of the First Crusaders are displayed. Our lives are short, our glories are quickly forgotten. But this place helps us to remember that we are just as worthy as anyone else. And that our lives are not lived in vain. Huh, the First Crusaders? You've been down here that long? That's crazy. That's none of your bit. We're looking for a holy sword. It was here, in the center, sticking out of a rock. The sooner we find it, the better. Some kids from our tribe took off for the shield maze. They figured it had collapsed, and now it's their time to go up to the surface, like all the legends foretold. Except they don't have a clue what's waiting for them up there. They're not fighters. And Sul, the chief of our tribe, is dead set against it. He says that now isn't the time for the underground crusaders to take up arms. If we get the holy sword, we might be able to change the chief's mind. <laughs> it's a fool's errand. None of us will be able to hold the sword, let alone use it to save anyone. It's not an ordinary weapon. It's made from righteous heavenly flame, and will burn anyone who touches it. Do you think you're special, Lan? Heavenly flame? I'll pick it up with my teeth and tie it to my hand if I have to. It doesn't matter. An angel's sword and a troop of stalwart mongrels will be able to work a minor miracle. <laughs> uh, speaking of which... You're still here, Wendu, which means that deep down, you know it's possible. Okay, wow, that's opened up a few more options. I really thought it was just going to leave me with evil attack. Yes, there are other ways up, but they are far from here, and after the earthquakes, there's a good chance they've collapsed. But the maze... There's a legend among our people that when the walls of the maze fall, that will be a signal for us, the underground crusaders, that the time has come to go up to the surface and fight the demons in the final confrontation. 
Until then, the people say the maze is shielding us from taking rash actions. I'm the only one in our whole tribe to have been in the maze. And even I don't know if it's true. But the further I went in the maze, the fresher the air became. That means that it really must lead to the surface. When the ceiling and walls started shaking, the young ones in our tribe lost their heads. They figured the maze was going to collapse, so it was time to go up to the surface. They grabbed whatever weapons were on hand and ran off toward the maze. They think the maze is no longer a danger to them. They've been listening to Wendwog too much. Don't try to blame this on me. Yes, I told them that our people are capable of making our way through the maze. In the future. But I always told them to wait until I had made a map of all the maze's dangers. I warned them a hundred times. But it was no use. My words just went in one ear and out the other. It came here with its owner. A long time ago. 50,000 gongs, to be precise. Gongs? Okay. I guess no air or sunlight down here, so they time things with gongs? 70 years ago, in Uplander time. Right. <laughs> okay. Easier than that. 50,000 gongs ago, our forebears found a dead angel here, along with the bodies of his comrades. The tribe gave them a dignified burial, and they were laid to rest with their weapons. But the flaming angelic sword was stuck in a rock, and no one was able to pull it out. It burned to the touch, like real fire. So the rock was placed over the angel's grave. It should be here somewhere. Maybe the angel will dig himself out and find the sword for us. That might be our best shot in this chaos. Lan! Watch your tongue. I would like it. Uh, yeah. If we work together, we're definitely more likely to find it. Thanks! An extra pair of eyes can only help. The sword will be easy enough to spot. It looks, uh, swordy. Help us, and in return, we'll get you out of here. <laughs> now we're talking. Let's get to work. It's a good thing we all bumped into each other, isn't it? What? You want to find the sword quickly so the underground monsters bring you back to the surface. So be it. Hidden objects. Let me try to resolve this fine. Ooh, that's really every character. It's a perception check. I am skilled in perception. Oh, I'm not skilled in religion. I found... Something. Now my skill is pretty Ah, not this time. No. Flame tongues, edible moss, and what was in here? A copper ring. That was not it. Here. Pay attention. Five grinding stones. Over there! What's that there? Now what is Jesus. that? Okay. First of all, let's see. Let's see what's in my house. Um, some gems. Take gems. I lead. You follow. More grindstones. More gems. Is this a dead end? Or is it a what do we have here? Now, what is that? Those gems. You couldn't find this? <laughs> oh, it's so hidden! Okay, oh, okay. Right, so a strange flash pierces the gloom, and Doom Guy feels drops of searing blood run down his chest. Healed by a terrendal of Ryoka's deep scars. There is no pain or offense. A hazy scene appears in a cage. This one or another one in time. Do 
Good Guys Harmony Quickies. And a stream of thoughts suddenly burst into his mind. Thoughts that clearly weren't. Treachery. They betrayed me. Tracked me. And stabbed me in the back. My trusted allies, my treasured friends, the people I swore to protect. People for whom I descended from heaven and came to this turbulent world. There they are, on the head, in the gloom of the cave. What are they waiting for? Are they afraid to join me closer? Do they believe I am about to die from their traitorous blows? Next to me, a quiet woman, a girl with golden braid, lies in the woods, clutching her such she refused to join with the traitors and paid dear for it. I could have tried to run and have done that. Why is that still the strength I lost? While recognizing the foreign origin of these thoughts, Moon Guy hit us that he controlled himself. Let's try to furiously call out the traitors. The voice trembling with pain and rage carries to the father's reach of the cave ceiling. Stranger, why? Why did you betray me and your comrades? What did the servants of the abyss tempt you with? Blurred shapes, the faces of several mortals bleed into existence. One of them, a young half of her hair twisted into a knot, responds to the accusations. You and your goddess have given us nothing, Lariel. Nothing but Lord Descari would give us everything. Oh, but Lord Descari would give us everything. And there is no power in the world that will stop his advance. A frenzy of foreign thoughts come faster and faster, like rushing, and images flash by one after another. A priestess in colorful robes of the stars, a young female paladin in gray, a child in the spot. A majestic golden winged angel gazing into the distance, his face covered by a helmet, but his voice will be clear. Only if you're willing, only if you're ready, there is no going back. There, the vision of the darkness of the cave stirs into motion. Something massive appears from within the depths. A vague shadow, an outline, a nightmare comes to life. A wave of odious chirruping and rustling emanates from the shadow, the sound piercing the cold iron's lancet of flesh and bone. The traitors fall into their knees before the shadow in reverent ecstasy, and the wounded girl thrashes in the death throes. Yawning chest burns white hot. Doomguy's head pounds with pain. It is no longer clear whose pain it is. The person called Lariel who sent this vision, or the one unlucky enough to receive it. But Doomguy is determined to fight off the. No! I want to find out more. But Doomguy knows how to resist the malign influence of this, no matter its origin. And Doomguy can do this. I don't want to fight off the illusion. I want to know what happens. This seems like the better option, though. Knows how to resist malign influence such as this, no matter the origin. I failed. <laughs> okay. The force of this terrifying attack through originating, though originating in a vision, is much greater than anything Doomguy can withstand. Crippling fatigue drags him to the ground, hands trembling, cold piercing his skull, and slowly creeping. Spine. The one who sent the vision is experienced something similar. He is broken and exhausted. A monstrous shadow emerges from the nerve of the king. It is not real, it exists only in the strained vision of memory. A thrill of fear provokes his more than ever. The shadow's features starkly resemble those of the sky. The terrifying demon. In a movement as swift as thought itself, the monster's hand is wrapped around the throat of the one that foolish angel struggling with rocks, like a fly with its wings to the shadow. Its voice changes as it moves, shifting from a quiet whispering to a sonorous shout. Becoming young, then old, and quailing, where is your goddess? Where is her self-assured heart? How is it that you are dying here alone, so far from the light of your heaven? A strange calm that is the thoughts of the one who will recognizes who stands before him. He knows he will never bow down before this enemy. The flaming sword flares to life in his hand, bright, pure, flickering with multicolored sparks like a sunbeam through a stained glass slush. The 
blade slices through the devil creature's flesh, and the monster recoils with a howl, releasing his grip on the heart. The angel falls back heavily on the corpse. His vitality is ebbing, but his pride remains undiminished. He grips the sword, and with his last burst of strength, plunges it into the rock. Doomguy senses that the vision is fading, with the rush of thoughts diminishing like a river running dry. The last thing he hears is this. You will kill me, monster. This I know. But one day, someone will come here, raise up my sword. They will raise it up and... Ooh, save Teddy. Punish evildoers and traitors. The vision disappears, vanishing in a burst of words. Doomguy does not hear the final words, but he seems to complete the thought, taking it to heart. The words fly from his lips, and with them, something else. The heat blazing in Doomguy's chest fades away. The edges of the scarlet wound close, leaving not even a scar behind. Looking down, Doomguy sees the flaming sword in his hand, or rather, its outline. The memory of what the sword looked like, when the final surge of warm soothing light the sword vanishes, and the light is drawn into his hand. Doomguy senses that he can return, all he needs is to keep his hold. I am a god, you foolish creature! Hey, are you all right? You were kind of glowing just now. I'm a god. I'm a god. That, that was it. The light of heaven, but how? What did you do with it? Where did it go? I think I saw the members. L'Oreal? That... Really was L'Oreal? The angel from the legends. The ancestors even got his name right on the gravestone. The chief will be thrilled. You. Thousands of gongs and no one's been able to touch it. And now you, an ordinary creature of flesh and blood no different to us, get the sword and start talking about visions. Now, now, Wentwog, don't be a sore loser. He is clearly different from us. The sword appeared before him, along with the angel's name and all that other stuff. Because he doesn't carry our mongrel taint. Heaven doesn't give a damn how special we are. We're born with evil inside us. Heaven doesn't need to know any more than that. I know you're willing to tear anyone apart to uphold our people's honor, but you and Sol, you just refuse to face the truth. We are the way we are because our ancestors' bodies were corrupted by the Abyss. It does the same thing to plants and animals. There's nothing heroic or special about it. It doesn't make us better, and it doesn't make us worthier. Oh, can I do this? It seems I can control it. That is just... Wow, I mean, that's amazing! Heaven has truly blessed you. This power is the most majestic thing I've ever seen in all my life. Is this what the sun is like, Lan? Yes, it's similar. But this light is more... golden? Chief Sol needs to see this. Now that we have the power of angels on our side, he can't say no. He'll have to assemble a troop to storm the maze. You Uplanders care about your kids, right? Help us save ours. Without them, we won't survive. And then, the perils of the maze won't be so bad if we go together. We'll make our way through it and find the way to Canabras. Okay, lead us to the chief. I'll, de I'll decide if I'm going to help you or not. Let's go. We'll take the short route. Well, the only route, really. This is a skill check to get down. Okay, so, before we do that, we've... <laughs> I'll leave this one here for now. It's been going about an hour. We've left, pretty much got the gist of it. We all seem to have a buff. Is this from the sword? Heroism. This spell imbues a single creature with great bravery and morale in battle. The target gains a plus two morale on bonus towers. Say, okay, let's not waste that. So, we'll do that now. We shall save this now as quite clearly just a save. 
Okay, so we're definitely going to just keep going until we finish this and just see how it goes. If you watched, thank you. If you didn't, you didn't see this. <laughs>